Welcome to the Nearly Coherent Podcast. I'm Ed, and with me this evening, looking fresh and dapper with his hair cut, now being close to his head, as opposed to before where he had lightning bolts on his head, which was also sexy, but kind of weird, is my buddy, Jeff. Jeff, how are you? Doing good, man. Hey, I have to ask, was it more weird, more sexy? Where did we stand on the bolts? It was sexy, but in that uncomfortable way. Right, where I was looking. Good, perfect. I didn't know if I should do more bolts, maybe a different shape. I I wasn't sure. Honestly, you should do more bolts, possibly like just shaving bolts into where your beard is so that like the beard comes out weird and you have like this long ass mutton chop that goes back in. That's It's very descriptive. Interesting. I'll make you a couple of drawings later and send them to you. Like I'm Jack on the Titanic in your rose. I'm just sending you picture after picture. Draw me like one of your French girls. Mm-hmm. I kept it weird still, though. I shaved most of my head. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm looking at you right now. You are front on to me. Your head is shaved. You are a cue ball. You are like Lex Luthor right now. Yes. What you talking about? So I shaved... The front, the, the sides, the top has, you know, God shaved the top for me. But right in the back, I have left a very nice square of hair that I'm growing out into a ponytail that my wife and my son absolutely despise. Do me a favor. Give me a little turn. Let me see this thing. Oh, that's, 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 that's. <laughs> That's going to give me nightmares. That's a merkin on the back of your head. That is, yikes. What I want to do is I wanted to make this like a nice, you know, square shape. Mm -hmm. But it's on the back of my head where I can't see it. Logical. Not easy to make straight, nice lines. Asked my wife for help. She refused. Wouldn't do it. Would not help me with the back of my head. So I don't know what I'm going to do, because the only ones who seem to like it are my daughters, and I'm not letting either of them near anything with an electric, you know, buzzer. Yeah, no. I mean, like, the seven-year-old, maybe, but the two-year-old, definitely not. She's too big of a piece of shit. She'll ruin it for you. Yeah, she is. What a monster. Speaking of monsters, Val's also here. No. A monster of adorable good choices. How are you doing, buddy? It's been like 19 years. Um, it's okay. Great. Glad you filled <laughs> us in. Well, <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> well, happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo to you, too. What you drinking over there? What's your drink recommendation of the day? Or what did you drink over there? Because... <laughs> As most of you know, the glass is all empty when it comes to Val's <laughs> alcohol cups. She's a professional. She does good work. It's like, you know when you order, like, tiny soup? Yes. And it comes in, like, the biggest size? Yeah, the egg drop wonton soup. Yeah, the quart. Yeah, this is the exact size it came in. Wow. So I'm very silly right now. What was it? What kind of drink was it? A basic margarita. Okay. But it's a quart. A quart of margarita. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we're figuring you're going to make it through 15 minutes of this episode and then just have to like pee and then fall asleep. Is that what we're saying here? No, I'm stronger than that. I'm going to make it through this whole thing. I had a girl. That was a good answer. Yeah. I'm stronger than that. I like that answer. Very empowering. It's a level of resilience you don't really see nowadays. I like that. I like it too. Good work. Yeah, well, you know. I don't matter. Let's, let's, let's get to, let's get to talking about some some shit. Jeff and I have some unresolved business from last week. I don't know if you remember, you brought up Kim Jong-un. Nah, yes. And you said, we'll probably talk about that in a minute. And then I said, we'll definitely talk about that in a minute. And then we promptly did not talk about it at all. So when I listened to the episode, that was one of the things that I was like, oh, shit, we we said Kim Jong-un and said nothing about it at all. <laughs> so, yeah, let's talk about that. 
that is an absolute batshit crazy situation. Yeah, so just as a recap in case if you've been like, you know, I don't know, in a corona-fueled news coma, Kim Jong-un for the past like 20 days wasn't anywhere. Everyone was like, oh, dude's dead. We record a podcast and we're like, we're going to talk about this. And then we didn't. And then like three days later, North Korea CITV is all like, he's alive and shows him opening a fertilizer plant, I think. And I'm calling bullshit. Yeah. Here's the thing. Kim Jong-un is the, what is he, the dictator? Like, what's his title? I think he's like the super duper cranky leader who kills his uncle. I think that's his official title. This is the leader of their country. This is not some unidentifiable vagrant that may have passed away. Like, people put out a missing person you can't quite find. This is the leader of the fucking country. The rest of the world doesn't know if he's alive or if he's dead. What kind of ass-backwards nation are you that you can't get your facts straight? Like, we have our problems. I got it. Well aware. <laughs> well aware of our own problems. But, I mean, listen, I think if Trump died, you'd at least know it. No, you definitely would. I mean, it'd be hard to tell initially because, you know, he looks like kind of a bloated corpse already. So it's hard to figure out. Like a carrot? Yeah, like a bloated dead carrot who is drained from the bottom of a river. So... Val, what were you saying about being afraid of a woman? A lot of, like, the memes that I've been seeing was like, oh, I'm his younger sister. I'm going to come to power now because of how their government works. And <laughs> Korea was like, no, we're not doing that. He's still alive. <laughs> Here's what I think. You remember in Men in Black when they had the alien that popped out of that old guy's face? Yeah. Same principle. It's now a robot Kim Jong-un. Being controlled. <laughs> she is weekend at Bernie'sing the government of North Korea. I was just going to say, is it weekend at Kimmy's? <laughs> yeah. I guess I should expect it. I should have expected something like this because what the world is throwing at us so far this year mm -mm. has all been just so crazy. This is like season three of Lost. There's too many plot lines. I mean, we've got the coronavirus. Now then King Jong Un was dead, but now he's not. And then we've got murder hornets. Like, can we just stick to one plot, please? This is getting to be a little ridiculous. We don't need Walt's child having superpowers and polar bears on the island at the same time. Is Australia still on fire or is that over? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember if that was this year or last year or 15 years ago. Time has no meaning. I've got nothing. I don't know. They might be on fire. They might not be on fire. The water might be on fire. It might not be. This, is, this place is crazy. <laughs> I need to get off this ride. <laughs> you want to talk about crazy? Uh, sure. All right. So you might be familiar with a regional hamburger chain called Wendy's. That's only regional? No, I was being an asshole. It's like worldwide. I love Wendy's. I am very familiar. Yeah. So when you think of Wendy's, what food do you generally think of? Home style chicken go wrap. Not the answer I was looking for, but... Square burgers. There you go. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Wendy's synonymous with square burgers. <laughs> Val going for the hipster deep cuts on the Wendy's menu with all sorts of beef production facilities being shut down due to COVID. There are hundreds of Wendy's restaurants that no longer have burgers. Huh? Yeah, because dozens of meatpacking plants across the country are shut down with coronavirus and, like, the people who work there getting COVID and spreading it about. Yeah, there's a whole lot of problems with beef now and pork and poultry. What? Yeah. So there's Wendy's that don't have burgers. There's Kroger supermarkets that don't have ground beef or pork. Oh, we don't have Kroger's here. We don't. Kroger's is a huge supermarket chain, though. I know, but... Sorry, sorry. That's all right. I'm trying to normalize my brain right now. No, no, embrace the crazy. Can you? I don't even know if we can anymore. Is that something that people can do? Is normalize their brains? Normalizing is gone. We've got nothing. We've, we've got nothing. So yeah, I'm a little afraid now. Because I mean, like, I don't particularly care for Wendy's fries. So I don't eat there. But I, I'm... <sighs> Jeff, I need you to talk me through what I'm going to do if McDonald's runs out of burgers. Because I, I don't know. That's like 90% of my identity. Um, well, no. they're not beef, so don't worry about it. The Quarter Pounders are beef now. That's the problem. Yeah. Oh, they, I still don't think they are. 
They're probably still a lot of horse. They're not. No, this is. I'm talking about McDonald's, not IKEA meatballs. Listen, and also if IKEA meatballs are made of horse, horse is delicious. I was just gonna say. I was gonna say the same thing about McDonald's hamburgers. Lots of other countries eat horse. Yeah. So, oh my God. Deep breath. I tried to help. I thought maybe they weren't beef, but you're gonna keep throwing up roadblocks. How often are you getting McDonald's right now? Not a lot, because, like, that would involve talking to other human beings and leaving my house, and I just don't do it. You could have it delivered. I could, but still have to talk to other people. I'm not really looking. Here's what I'm worried about. I'm going <laughs> to stop eating McDonald's, and they're going to run out of beef, and all that's going to be left is, like, broccoli and salads, and I'm going to become a rail, and there goes my identity as a fat guy. There goes my identity as a unrepented carnivore. Everything's over. What happens to Ed when those things are gone? Do I become happy? I, I don't know how I'd handle that. What have I been telling you about the end? Just bring it. Because this is too much. It's too much worrying. It's the end. If we all go, who cares? There's no shortage of McDonald's hamburgers in heaven. That's true. What about the onions, though? Burger King is running out of onion rings. If Burger King could just run out of business, that'd be perfect. Except they're the only place you can get surge. Oh, really? Yes. I didn't know that. Yep. Hmm. Still not going to go to Burger King. All right. Uh, does McDonald's have like an impossible burger? They don't, no. Oof. I was thinking maybe if they came up with that, give it a try. That thing causes like a lot of disease, I'm pretty sure. Everything does. Yeah. Cell phone towers cause corona. I'm not going to live forever because I ate a nonstop diet of pizza, french fries, and McDonald's hamburgers. Not too many people surviving off of that regular McDonald's burger, so <laughs> I wouldn't sweat it. That's not exactly my biggest problem here. I have to tell you, I don't think this is a problem I can help you dig out of. All right. I don't know what to do. You like their nuggets? I do like their nuggets, but poultry is also being a problem. Again. You know what? Malta? I need you to figure this out. Help us as much as we've helped you. Yeah, come through for us. Do something. Give us something back for once, Malta. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm terrified about burgers. So, Val, what have you been up to? Uh, working a lot. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. We're in some trying times right now. Mm -hmm. People are looking for distraction. Mm -hmm. And... As you may recall, you have a special gift to distract with, what's the polite way of saying this? Tales of your terrible decisions in men. Honestly, it's a wonder that you don't find Dave attractive. Right? How am I not marrying Dave? <laughs> Hold on one second. Her answer there, a little bit loaded. She neither confirms nor denies that Dave is attractive. It's a scientific fact. That he's not. I, I don't think he's attractive at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there we are. There we are. Got it. Just checking. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll be able to download that as a ringtone starting next week. Perfect. Could you just clearly say Dave's not attractive at all, Val? No. Please? No. I'll give you a dollar. I really need a dollar. I'll Venmo you a dollar right now. No. I think he is. As attractive as he should be. With <laughs> yes. His... That's worse. That's so much worse. That is so much worse. It's not a bad or a good thing. <laughs> oh, no. That's a bad it's thing. A bad that thing. is so much worse. Holy shit. Oh, oh. that is so much. Thank <laughs> you. One dollar on the way. Perfect. <laughs> well, well, well. But you know what, though? I agree with Ed. This is one of those times where I know I could definitely use a little pick-me-up. And laughing at your pain is one of my favorites. So do you have any untold tales of your dating life that we can enjoy together? Yeah. You do? Yeah. You came prepared? Oh, my God. I came prepared. I love it so much. Hey, Val. Mm -hmm. I think... Before you get there, I would like to take a second and give a special shout out to Ed's co-pilot, best friend, chief creative officer for Nearly Coherent. <laughs> special day today, isn't it, buddy? It is. Seven years ago today, my goober of an intern, Sunshine the dog, joined up with Team Nearly Coherent 
and uh, he's let me put dumb crap on him in photos ever since. Gladly. I would highly suggest you head over to Ed's Instagram and check out this regal beast with his birthday hat on. He's honestly the best of all of us. You know what's funny? When you look at the pictures of Ed's dog, you can tell exactly what this dog behaves like. So I've been around Sunshine a number of times, and he is the most laid back. Oh, he's like a stoner of a dog, almost. <laughs> you know, like just hanging out, goes with the flow. And yeah. please go over to his Instagram, check out the pictures, and tell me that that's not exactly what this pup looks like. It's, it's true. crazy. He is the world's most mellow dog. The dog is smiling for the pictures with this, like, eyes closed, kind of <laughs> goofy little grin on. It's pretty funny. So, anyway, hey, happy welcome to the family adoption day. I'll pass that along. He'll do some tail wags and uh, probably request a snoot poop. I'll take care of that for you. Thank you. Aww. Appreciate it. So, apologies, Val. I know you have something for us, and I truly cannot fucking wait <laughs> to hear it. But couldn't let the day go by. Something only happens once a year. You know, had to give a shout out to the pups. With no further ado. I'm so, I'm so ready. Are you ready for like some Levittown bike trash drama? <laughs> yes. It's what I've been waiting for for months. I'm almost disappointed <laughs> you have to ask us if we're ready. I'm dying <laughs> for it. So my friend did a good thing for me and put aside some cash for me when I got out of jail. Wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Are you reading somebody's Facebook? Se what, what's going on right now? Oh, oh, yes, you're right. I should, I should preface. Set the stage for us a little bit, if you could. <clears throat> so a guy I used to date when I was 13. Six years ago, got it. For two weeks, because he liked the same band that I liked. What band? The Insane Clown Posse? No, it was AFI. Oh, all right. I like that band, too. I was hoping it was a band that I could destroy, but no, I like them. <laughs> We're going to say it was Puddle of Mud. Puddle of Mud was the band? No! <laughs> I can't. I can't do that. I have to draw the line somewhere. I'm ne I would never insinuate that somebody <laughs> likes Puddle of Mud. No. What if I insinuated Dave liked Puddle of Mud? Would you draw the line there? Dave should be in Puddle of Mud. Okay. So, guy that you dated because you both liked AFI. His brother apparently went to jail for two years. Nice. nice. For two counts of armed robbery. Okay. One for each arm. That makes sense. As my friend did a good thing for me and put aside some cash for me when I got out of jail, where I was for over a year, he helped me with food and a place to stay. Next thing you know, he's cooking food and helping this guy with, a, with like a place to stay. And <laughs> the guy has sex with his ex-girlfriend. Wait, which guy had sex with whose ex-girlfriend? The one in jail. The one in jail had sex with who? The guy that um, they were staying with. So the love of your life's jailbird brother yep. had sex with a guy that was helping him out's girlfriend. The love of my life. Yeah. That's what we said. Sure. Got it. <laughs> All right. So he's there uh, boinking this lady. Go on. And apparently she asked him for like money too. And he gave it to her and gave her meth. This is the town I've grown up in. <laughs> so let's just recap because you are punch drunk on this one. And I love it. I love the energy. Love of your life's brother goes to jail for two counts of armed robbery. It's not the love of my life. It's his brother. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> it's his brother. <laughs> goes to jail <laughs> for two counts of armed robbery. I stand corrected. The love of your life's brother goes to jail for two counts of armed robbery. Gets helped out given money and shelter and food by a friend of his who he then goes and banks his girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. Oh, ex-girlfriend. That makes it a lot better. Who's a stripper. So you got to lead with that. I feel like you're leaving out some very fine details. <laughs> so let's roll back. He's banging the ex-girlfriend of the guy who has helped him get back on the straight and narrow. The woman who happens to be a stripper who asks this guy who got out of jail, who's the brother of the love of your life, asks him for money, and he gives her money, meth, and food. Yep. Wow. Please continue. I'm captivated. So I'm enthralled in this conversation. I keep reading it because it's about 300 
comments along. Trust me, I believe everybody understands why you're following along. I was so excited that I read through all the comments and then found out that apparently the guy who he cheated on with the girlfriend and everything, the guy hacked his account. His Facebook account? Yeah. Ooh, this is going to get spicy. So now I'm on his team because, come on. Yeah. Yeah. You were spurned by the love of your life, and this is the love of your life's brother. It's not the love of my life. You want to see him get his comeuppance? I would too, yeah. Yeah, I get it. By the way, I'm pretty sure Jeff, he lives around you, by the way. Nice. (laughs) Friendly faces in the neighborhood. Excellent. Jeff's only regret of social distancing is that he can't see this person more frequently. I was going to say, I'm going to have to bump this guy's elbow or kick his foot or whatever the fuck we're going to be doing going forward when I get the chance. Ask him about the one who got away. So this guy hacks the Jailbirds account. Mm -hmm. What happens next? So everyone keeps commenting. I think at this point it's like a thousand comments. And (laughs) you just end up feeling like you're on Joe's side. It's all right. There's actually more than one person with that name. You're okay. You feel like you're on the side of the person that's being accused of all these things? Joe, you mean? (laughs) (laughs) And the other person looks like the biggest asshole in the world. Like, yeah, you called him out, but at the same time, you you hacked his account. I want to be clear. Nobody here comes out smelling like a daisy. Yeah. Everybody looks like they screwed up somewhere. It's Tiger King. It's Tiger King. Yeah, I feel like this is the type of thing where you can pretty much... Throw the word asshole anywhere, and it's going to stick to somebody. You're most likely going to be right. I mean, I'm not on the video with the blonde hair. I look like Carol Baskin. So I don't understand that <laughs> reference. Funny. Jeff, I'm going to need you to make a joke there. Can you say the line? Which one? The, hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Oh, hey, all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> Dude, you (laughs) have to watch this show, Ed. Yeah, for real. I'm off next week. I've got tons of time. And this really is, except for the fact that there's a girl involved. This is real similar. This is like some Tiger King shit. That's what I'm saying, Jeff. Like, honestly, Levittown Tiger King is a real thing. Yeah, this is our own Joe Exotic. Yeah, and it's um, it's a Joe thing, so. Was that his whole entire name? Yeah. That you just said? Okay. Just check. I'm just checking. Do you want to give out his social security number too? I mean. It's Joe. That's his name on Facebook. Uh, Hang on. I'm going on Facebook for the first time in months. Is his brother that went to jail older or younger? He's older. He went to jail for. Wait. Hold on. Yeah. So the guy that you dated also went to jail? Yeah. I know. I know. I know. I know. God. I can't even find this post on his. Thing. But he came up right as I typed in, like, just Joe. This first thing that came up in my search, I was like, I want to be friends with this guy. But not really. I'm going to catfish this guy into friendship. It's going to be amazing. I have two mutual friends with this guy. So do I! Oh, God. Did you just drop an AirPod again? I love that spicy look she gave me. Like, you know I did. Shut up, you fat asshole. Yeah, like, do something about it. Are you giving me the finger? You got to lift it up. I can't see it. So, based on that story, I don't know that I have anything to top it. Jeff? I am so (laughs) thoroughly confused. I couldn't top it if I tried. I'm not even going to give you a chance to try to top yourself, Val, because I don't think you can do it, so... I think I can, actually. We'll save it for another episode. This is too much for the people. They'll OD (laughs) and die of your great dating history. We can't have that. So, Val, I'll see you when I see you. Jeff, I love you. Wow. I love you. How do you say goodnight in Spanish? I forget. Buenos noches. Buenos noches. There we go. I also love you, Val. Don't be jealous. <laughs> <laughs>